Hello! I thought I'd just do a quick rebuttal video of this uh, fucking ridiculous situation in the UK with the, the discovery of this so-called Cheddar Man which they found in... Uh, the reason why it's called Cheddar Man is because he was found in the Cheddar Gorge which is a cave in uh, Somerset, I believe. Um, now, this is all obvious stuff to anyone with half a brain but it looks as though you know, so-called intelligent people need some sort of um, guidance on this subject. So, I think a few days ago now, they released details of this so-called Cheddar Man, who appears to have been black, allegedly. And surprisingly, or non-surprisingly, depending on how you look at it, um, it wasn't really a surprise to me. The same, same sort of people who write I fucking love science on their biography on their social media accounts are the same people who are now saying uh, uh, that means that there's no such thing as a native British person because the original inhabitants of Britain were black. Well, this insanely oversimplified view is what's been pushed by so-called intelligent people not because it's science but because it it aligns with their anti-white anti-european agenda and their agenda to make africans and other nationalities feel at home in britain over the you know over the the wishes and welfare of the white indigenous people who live in this country so let's just take some common sense approach to this they found one single case of a guy who was buried 10,000 years ago or more who happens to have genes which indicate that he had black skin this is one person one individual if you was to say do a, a survey in your local town and say we're doing a survey on who likes bananas I know it's weird just go with me with this you ask one person and that one person says I don't like bananas now extrapolating that to, to fit this case that's like saying right well we interviewed one person and a hundred percent of people said they don't like bananas so, well of course 100% of people don't like bananas because you only ask one person in the same <laughs> in the same respects you've got one piece of evidence saying that one person had darker skin and you're extrapolating that to say that everyone in the UK boy well, everyone sorry everyone in the British Isles uh, had dark skin now it wouldn't surprise me if everyone back then did have dark skin but the fact that this individual had blue eyes indicates at least to me that he had the start of or they at that present time they had the start of the of genes that were beginning to become fairer so there was fairer complexions beginning to come out as time went on and I should have been in that lane but never mind I'll try and fit in in a minute so he's got blue eyes he's got dark Kerr skin. I wouldn't even say he was particularly African. Looking at him, he looks more kind of Indian, uh, which makes sense because obviously, um, given out the known history that we already know about, uh, being proto-Indo-European, it makes sense. And let's not forget, there was a fucking great ice sheet over Northern Europe, so it wouldn't it wouldn't be a surprise if the first inhabitants in Northern Europe had darker skin because they would have either have come from uh, the Middle East, uh, or maybe further afield, um, India or so on. But the thing is that the, the people who have lived in the British Isles, well, and Northern Europe in general, over the last God knows how many thousands of years, um, replaced the the old uh, population anyway. But that will be an excuse to, oh, you know, oh. Well, we replaced the the, the the beaker 
Beaker Bell people came and replaced the previous genera the, the previous uh, people who were living in the British Isles. So that's proof that migration happens and that we shouldn't be worried. Well, aside from the fact that it is a, it is a, a thing to be worried about because obviously past history shows us that entire populations uh, or demographics can be completely replaced given enough time and enough uh, stress stresses in the environment enough problems with uh, invasions and uh, repopulations and so on migrations so yes there is a concern there that we should all be worried about when it comes to modern day migration um, just on a historical basis but um, if you if you apply the logic of you know Anglo-Saxons came over, uh, Bell, Bell Beaker people came over and replaced previous populations. If they're not in, if you're including Anglo-Saxons and Celts and so on, whatever you want to call them, as being an indigenous uh, group of people in the British Isles, then you can apply that to the native Indians who weren't originally the original inhabitants. You can also apply that to um, the Maori, Maori who went to New Zealand, who weren't the original indigenous people to New Zealand. I think they only settled about 800 and something thousand AD. And by their logic, surely the colonization of the Americas would be okay because populations move, migration's fine. So the fact that they're constantly berating Europeans for their role in colonization across the world you can't have you can't have both you can't say one thing is good and one thing <laughs> and it's also bad depending on who was who it was that was doing it now the, the darker genes in this guy's skin weren't even African because they admit in the articles that the guy had darker skin but it's been proven by looking at the genetics that he had the ancestor gene of white skin. So basically everyone uh, in Europe with white skin today has the same genes as him, he just has a more archaic version. So I don't even think, we don't even know. It could just be a gene throwback, it could be anything. As I said, this is one person. But as per usual, the out of Africa theory comes out and tries to debunk uh, racial science or ra racial differences um, and I'm sorry but these people who are supposedly are intelligent university educated people oversimplify things by a magnitude of millions just so they can get their anti-white anti-European agenda in and make the world a happy more tolerable place for Africans who, unfortunately, for their own sake, have done fuck all across the entire expanse of time. And actually, ironically, of course, uh, it was only a few days prior to this Cheddar Man shit that um, we had the uh, Egyptian queen who turned out to be fairer skinned. And uh, obviously the Africans got all, sh <laughs> got all stirred up about that one. So, Africans, uh, sorry, uh, Egyptians in North Africa were white, but the inhabitants, original inhabitants of the British Isles were African. Okay. Obviously we're living in a clown world. But that's about it really, it's not really uh, anything new to anyone with half a brain, but perhaps this video will reach at least one person who's got problems with the, the way their brain works and try and convince them and bring them back over to logic and reason. That's it, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon I guess.